today we are going to make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not going to be that kind of grass. <laughs> it's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models are practically built themselves. <laughs> And let's see what's in this box. Let's see what's in the box. Let's see what's in this box. Yeah, what's in the box, Doc? What's in that box? Well, folks, it's Mad Dog Merv. Today, uh, we're going to start something a little bit new on the channel. And this is something that was inspired by my friend, uh, Mike, Breaker Broke 23. He's got some really cool stuff that he does on his channel. Even though um, it's not the same stuff that I do, a lot, of a, a lot of what we do is the same. And what I mean by that is when you are a hoarder, when you're a collector, when you're an old guy like us, um, you do a lot of the same things. Uh, I do models and he does uh, CB and ham radios. Um, you know, but a lot of our methods are the same in collecting, buying, you know, all that kind of stuff. So uh, I thought we would start something new called What's in the Box. Uh, Mike had made a move back to Utah uh, earlier in the year, and he had boxes full of stuff that he didn't remember what was in all of these boxes. And so he had a grand opening of the boxes, um, and as he would do it, he would film it, and you'd see all this stuff that, oh, wow, I forgot I had that. And he was using, it was really funny. I'm the only one who knew this when I saw it. But he opened up one box and there were these books that were, um, he was using as kind of filling in the box. And they were our old year books because <laughs> I recognized them because, uh, you know, we went to school together. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through some of these boxes. I mean, I have, I have drawers I have containers, I have cardboard boxes of models that are stashed all over the place here. I've got airplanes, I've got ships, I've got cars, I've got tanks, and sometimes I don't remember what all I have. I mean, shoot, just my funny car collection alone is over 130 pieces. So uh, my 700 scale ships, we're talking about 400 pieces. Yeah. So I have these put away for safekeeping so they don't get damaged, at least a lot of stuff I do. And I thought it would be fun to kind of go around as, as I come across these things, open them up and see what's in the box. I thought it'd be kind of fun for you to see too, because uh, some of the stuff I don't remember that I even have or built or whatever. So... Um, Let's go on this journey of what's in the box. Okay, and here's the first off the stack. Let's see what's in the box. Ooh, looks like I have a super Pershing. Super. Yeah, this is, uh, I think this is a Hobby Boss kit that I did. And I built it as a very late war version looks like it's missing a grab handle but there you go Ooh, yep definitely a super oh version. and then this beauty here um looks like the turrets popped on it this is coffee or something oh no here's what it is this has popped off of it some of the some of the sandbags so i gotta glue that back on it's a problem even storing this stuff it gets damaged anyway this is a sherman that i did a pacific war sherman and i'll give you a little bit more details on it here in a bit but this is uh i think i did this for okinawa yeah for kind of to represent the battle of okinawa it uh, has a uh what they call a recycled turret. We'll talk a little bit about that again later. But it has sandbags all over it and these spikes that are anti-personnel spikes that were on the um, on the hatches to keep the Japanese from climbing on there and um, putting bombs, mines, whatever on, on there. So, okay, that's the other thing that's in this box. Uh, what's this? Oh, 
This is one of the Shermans that I have for, um, yeah, it was, <laughs> it's the same, it's from the same group of, as my submerged Sherman. So, um, Tarawa. Oh, there we go. And this is just, uh, I think this is one of the ones that made it ashore. Although the suspension sprung on this, but can't remember which kit this is. Probably a dragon. And I'm not sure if this is a resin turret, one of my resin turrets, or if this is a kit turret. So it's a problem with uh, some of these I do in resin is I can't tell whether they're the resin or not. So that's what both of these are here is to represent my Tarawa Shermans. So we'll put those aside. See, here's a, a light guard and this looks like a Panther tank um, track here. So, oh, one of my uh, M50s, my Israeli Shermans. And this one, so I've got a couple of these, and I'm not sure if this is one that I, the turret I got from a kit. I think this turret, no, this is a turret that I actually built. I actually made the, the weight on here on the back and uh, built this front end. So, yeah, this was something I custom did before I knew about the resin conversion. So, yeah, this is an M50 Sherman. You'll notice the uh, wheels. There's like three or four different flavors of wheels on this thing. So, this was before they got the EZ8 suspension. This would be like the uh, Egyptian, the war uh, with, with Egypt. So, and I got an old 50 cal, just one of the, like, Talieri, one of the crappy ones. And I actually put a bag on it, so... That was kind of a fun build. Got some great pictures of that in black and white, actually, in the sand. It looked pretty cool. Uh, this one, I think, is representing Guam. Uh, Marine Corps Pacific Sherman. It's got the uh, improvised deep water uh, wading trunks on it. And I think with uh, what I've put on this, it kind of represents the Battle of Guam, as I recall. Okay, so oh, here's my other M50 uh, Israeli Sherman. And this one, why did I paint this green? I, I can't remember why, but anyway. And this one is actually the kit turret. So this is one that is a resin turret. And this one is the one I scratch built. So... Yeah, not too bad a job on that. But again, I for I went through a little uh, stint of um, doing Israeli Shermans. My M51, I still haven't finished. I have a couple of those. And then this is just uh, representing from the uh, Battle of the Philippines, uh, Luzon, a M4 uh, composite hull that was used uh, by the Army. Um, quite a lot of these in the Pacific, but specifically uh, for this one, the uh, Battle of Luzon. So there you go. And other than a few, you know, pieces and parts, like <laughs> like the bore evacuator for that, um, that's all that's in Going this box. Going back in this box, I am putting this M4A176. It's an Italieri kit. And this is the one that fell off the very, very top shelf during the earthquake. And uh, this is the only thing that, that was damaged is this fell off of the mount. How about that? So that's going to go in this box. And then my Cobra King, which I decided to paint this on this side as well, because there is a photo that has it on this side. Now, when that photo was taken, whether it was post-war or what, we don't know. But anyway, I decided to put... Um, Cobra King with the first and bass stone on both sides. So, and a little bit of snow on it. All right, so that box is back together and away it goes.